Welcome back, everybody, to Linda Larkin's birthday special with another PlayStation 2 game. And this time we're going to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Music, thank you. Let's play. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Let's meet our next player. It's time to pick which fifth grader. I'm going to pick Alicia. Here are the subjects for today's game. Animal science, music, grammar, U.S. geography, reading, measurements, art, world history, physical science, world geography. I'll start with first grade animal science. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. True or false, some crocodiles are native to North America. True? I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $1,000. Okay. Excellent. Pick your next subject. First grade music. Okay. The $2,000 question is... True or false? The distance from C to D can be measured in... Your classmate True. is locked. Locking in. You've got $2,000. Okay. Woohoo! An interval can be measured in scale steps or staff position. It's time to call a new classmate. I'm going to go with Joy. Pick your next subject. Second grade grammar. Okay, the $5,000 question is... What word is the action verb in the following sentence? When Olivia is at the beach, she swims in the ocean. Swims. Locking in. You've got $5,000. Yay! Excellent! Which subject? Second grade U.S. Geography. All right, for $10,000, may we see the Which question, of these please? Great Lakes is the largest, superior. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Yeah. Excellent. It's time to call a new classmate. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Let's pick a subject. Third grade reading. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. Genre. True. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yeah. Woohoo. $25,000 guaranteed no matter what happens. Great job. They are both considered examples of the fantasy genre. Which subject? Or grand measurements. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with decades. the exact amount of money that you have right now. Uh, let's see. I would say 100 decades. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You got that one right. Yeah! Awesome. Great job! We are now in the second millennium according to our calendar. Other calendars have us in the fifth millennium. It's time to call a new classmate. I'm gonna go with Juliet. Which subject? Fourth grade art. Okay. You're playing for $100,000. Which of the following was part of the modern art movement? Uh, surrealism? Locking in. You've got $100,000. Yeah! Awesome. Okay. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? I'm a college graduate, Jeff. Salvador Dali was a famous surrealist. 
Which subject? Fourth grade world history. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? Great Britain. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yeah. Woohoo! Nicely done. You're down to your last classmate. Pick your next subject. Fifth grade physical science. Okay. The three hundred thousand dollar question what is. What's the thought? Is the proper chemical formula for water? H two. Lewis locked in his. A Locking in. You got that one right. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Woo Great job. This stands for two parts hydrogen for every one part of oxygen. Fifth grade world geography. Okay, the five hundred thousand dollar question Which is. Which of the is, countries is not part of the Fertile Crescent where our civilization began? Your classmate is I'll locked in already. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Awesome. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? You realize what time it is now, don't you? You bet. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm gonna tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you wanna to try to answer it or not. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going. I'm going for the million, baby. You're playing for one million dollars. What literary genre consists of a person's life story written by themselves? One million dollars is on the line here, so take your time and think about it very carefully before you decide to lock in your answer. Oh boy. I'm going to say biography. Locking in. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. That's not oh! the right answer. Ugh. Oh man. I thought for grand. sure I had it. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Autobiography. Oh. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. Oh, you just well. flunked I out tried. of school. See you for another game. I can't believe what a moron I am. Now repeat after me. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. But I did my best. It was autobiography and not biography.